It's been 28 years since Collingwood and Melbourne met in a final, but don't let that fool you. The two clubs share a long and storied history fueled by passion and big MCG crowds. The Magpies and the Demons gave rise to the largest home and away crowd in VFL, AFL history when 99,256 packed into the home of football on the Queen's birthday in 1958. The Dees went on to win that day, holding out the fast finishing Pies by 11 points. Fortunately, the Magpies turned the tables when it counted, claiming one of the famous premierships in history only three months later. Heading into the match, Collingwood, rank underdogs, was fighting to prevent Melbourne from equaling its famous four premierships in a row, one between 1927 and 1930. Played in wet and muddy conditions, the Magpies were inspired by coach Fonz Kine and refused to give an inch, winning by 18 points. That, of course, would be the club's last flag for 32 years. In recent times, the Queen's birthday tradition has been reignited, becoming a fixture in the AFL calendar since 2001. Collingwood holds a 10-5 record with one draw played out in 2010. The 2010 draw was one of the games of the season and the Magpies were only saved by late replacement Brad Dick, who kicked four goals just two days after turning out for the VFL Magpies. In years gone by, it's been Chris Tarrant who has stolen the show on the Queen's birthday. While he had plenty of success in front of goal, it was his screamer in 2001 that had people talking. Incredibly, it would be topped just three weeks later by Essendon's Gary Moorcroft, who would finish his own career in red and blue. In 2017, Collingwood's Melbourne connection is stronger than ever. XD's Jeremy Howe and Lyndon Dunn make up key components of the club's backline and will lead the Magpies into battle against Simon Goodwin's Demons on Monday.